Hi, this is Kristen Peterson from Altered State Studio. Um, I've had quite a few requests for some of my um, uh, for videos for um, my little cards I've been making. I'll show you a couple here um, that I've made recently um, with Robin Marie's uh, Art Pop cards. Um, here's a couple of the samples um, that I have made uh, using her art pop cards. So I thought we would um, maybe I thought I would demonstrate uh, how to do those. This was probably my my last one that I did um, out into the garden. So um, we are going to do that. So I picked out um, I have a couple different packs of Robin Marie's cards. So I just picked. Um, a larger size to work on. Um, her cards, remember, come in kind of a, a variety of sizes, a little bit smaller um, or the larger ones. Um, so I picked a, a larger one for us to work on today. <clears throat> and I'm just going to kind of work through my process and we'll see what happens here. So um, this has kind of the large blank. So part of my uh, deal is to kind of blend the whole card together. Uh, so I actually have some ephemera and um, just receipts and that sort of thing. So I'm actually going to kind of fill in um, the white square here to begin with. And we'll kind of go from there. I like um, the writing um, that's on the bottom of this card. So we're just going to kind of put a little more writing on. Um, Usually with my work, I'm just trying to kind of blend um, and fit in. Um, some of it is, you know, tying the, the whole thing all, all together. Um, the other thing with the ephemera, um, I always like to make sure that, you know, if there's any like personal um, information maybe that's on the card that uh, I am getting rid of that. Um, I don't want to be, you know, um, I don't want anyone to feel like, you know, I was using information and without their knowledge. Um, so some of it is just to tie this piece of paper into the card. Um, I'm still not totally sure about that bottom. So I think I'm going to see if I can't find uh, a little bit of color here to pop it on there. Um, now I'm going to work on trying to cover kind of that uh, upper portion here. And again, I'm not um, too fussy about what it is, um, although I do want it to kind of all work together. So Again, just using small pieces. Um, sometimes um, starting with uh, something that has a bit of a background already on it um, is a little bit easier um, and less kind of overwhelming. Um, sometimes people are a little uh, overwhelmed with the fact that it's so white. Um, so. Ooh, that's pretty dark here, so I'm just gonna wet this here a little bit and kind of move it. I'm just using this is just water here. together. 
probably almost covered up my whole piece there, but that's okay. I think that um, I probably have enough covered there um, that I'm going to go ahead and probably start with the rest of my card. Um, I'm going to dry this just a little bit and then I'll be right back to show you uh, the rest of what we're going to do here. Dry. So we're going to go ahead um, and keep working here. Um, I'm really liking this little flower down there. Um, sometimes it's just playing. Um, I do have a, like a little scrap of um, Yupo paper. Um, I kind of like that with the orange that's on it here. So we're just going to go ahead and put that onto our card here. Um, I'll also use, uh, this is just the Delusion Spray Ink. This is the, the Lemon Zest here. We'll add a little bit. And again, I'm just going to dry quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, again, my card is nice and dry. Um, the other thing I kind of like down here is her little, uh, there's like a little flower down here in the corner. It's kind of a orangey red here. I'm going to again maybe try to Maybe put another one up here with this other uh, black circle. And we'll incorporate uh, another flower up there. Um, I am actually going to use uh, a pencil. It's a, called a sketch and wash. Um, we'll just kind of use this to go back in uh, over the top here so I can pull um, my piece of paper in. And like I said, I think I'm going to make this a little flower here too. And tie those all together then. So. Um, I like using kind of a little wide variety here. So this is a, a Stabilo pencil um, that is a pink. There was a little bit of a pink kind of hiding um, under this edge here. So we're just going to add a little bit. And um, part of it with the um, Stabilo or the um, Sketch and Wash is to uh, be able to go back in. Um, so this is just a, a paintbrush uh, that I just put a little bit of water on. But all I want to do is just kind of wet this down. That's pretty wet here. Um, so I'm just going to dab a little bit of that off. Um, but just to kind of soften, um, soften my pencil marks here that I put in. Um, trying hard though not to hit that Stabilo pencil or that uh, sketch and wash. Um, with the sketch and wash once you spritz it it'll kind of do its own thing. So we'll just use a little spray water um, and then again, I'm going to dry this and I'll be okay. right back. So, um, my card is dry here again. And I know I put the black on because she had kind of black underneath. But I'm not totally loving that now. So, um, part of doing collage and, and kind of working through mixed media is sometimes fixing whatever you don't like. So, uh, I think what we'll do... I think what I'm going to try to do here anyway is to use, um, I think I'm going to put a little white down to begin with and then we'll go back in with a little color and then uh, see what we get here. So again, I'm just going to use um, a 
a little white um, and kind of wash back over the top. Um, I liked parts of this, but not everything. So, um, and I'm not really worried about covering everything. Um, I maybe want parts of it to show through. So, I'm going to use the Golden's uh, Green Gold here and kind of come back in. That's coming back. So, I think what I'm going to do here, and again, this is just water. I'm going to spritz that just a little bit. And then we're going to do a little wiping here. I'm going to use that um, edge that we, that Yupo paper that we put in here to begin with. So I'm just now taking uh, water and wiping uh, through my stencil and removing what we just put down here. better. I feel like um, it does need to maybe cross that uh, strip here or otherwise I need to go another way with it. Um, I think what we'll try is uh, using the same stencil here. Grab a little sponge. We're going to come on this other side and maybe turn our stencil and run it another way. We need to find a better sponge here. They're all a little crunchy. I'm just using a, I'm just using a regular makeup sponge that I got uh, just at the dollar store. So we're just going to come back in now. Go back through our stencil. And again, I'm not worried about um, perfection here. I just want to get a little color and get kind of that same um, pattern onto the other side here. looks a little bit better. Alrighty. I like what we have so far. I'm just trying to decide um, about uh, my next step here. Now, when uh, you can see when I've gotten it inked up. Um, I did ink uh, some of the other ones. So what I normally do is uh, lay paper over the top just to block those off. So all I'm going to get 
is my is the one circle that I want. So and I'm just gonna work on placing it. Oh yeah, I like that really well. Yeah, I like those really well. So we're gonna go in uh, into the flowers here just a little bit and put just a little dab of a white to brighten those just a little bit and then maybe just a little more um, doodling. I normally like to do uh, a little bit of um, pencil or put some words uh, onto my card there so just going to grab a, a regular pencil here Also, uh, really like um, to use this is a, just a art graph stick, um, soft. I normally uh, kind of pencil off a little bit off to the side, um, and then just grab a little bit just to provide a little shadow. Um, and um, come back in with your with your darks without adding uh, really too much. It's a little easier to work with here. And that'll kind of help tie uh, this together here. All right. Um, I think I'm going to call it good with this one. Um, I kind of like how this one turned out. Uh, there's a few elements, you know, we kind of kept that flower maybe that was on the original card. Uh, I like how the, you can see a little bit of the writing that was on the edge and then our introduction um, of that ephemera. Um, the little piece of Yupo paper um, and just a, maybe a couple little elements um, from the side here. but. I think this is uh, kind of a cute little card now that we're finished. So anyway, I hope that you've uh, enjoyed the little journey from start to finish. And please uh, come back for um, more videos. Thank you.